My name is Zakir Muhammad, and you are listening to the Living Legacy Podcast. This weekly podcast features women of purpose sharing stories of resilience. They are wives, artists, entrepreneurs, they run businesses, and here they will share their stories of how they overcame obstacles and how they are juggling it all. If you're ready to learn about professionalism, entrepreneurship, business, travel, life, and love, you're in the right place. You will hear real and raw stories of survival. Now it's your turn to be inspired to step outside of your own comfort zone. I am a cancer survivor, brand cultivating strategist, world traveler, and a professional photographer. I'm your host of the Living Legacy Podcast. Let's get into it. So it's been an incredible year. Of course, everyone has been talking about hot girl summer, but I literally had a healing girl summer, more like a healing girl year. Today makes exactly a week until my birthday, December 20. I don't necessarily want to give away my age, if you don't know it, but I wanted to just kind of give a few facts or receipts or wins um, from this year. Because trust and believe there have been plenty of losses, plenty of things that were difficult, plenty of things that challenged me, pushed me, almost broke me, but I'm still here. It's been an incredible year of just kind of stepping outside my limits and, and embracing the woman that I'm, I know that I'm meant to become. I just, let's, let's get into it. I'm going to share about 30 things that happened this year that were great, at least to me, that were huge in my mind. And they may seem small to you. If you feel like you may feel any sense of envious, jealousy, imposter syndrome, get out now, <laughs> okay? Because that's not what this zone is about. That's not the reason for sharing all these things. Um, I've gotten imposter syndrome myself from plenty of people. Because guess what? I too had to kind of step away from my favorite places to eat when I need to financially budget and manage myself. I too had to step away from toxicity, you know, when I think I'm around negative people. I too had to step away from those to remove or just not use those social media apps whenever I get that feeling of imposter syndrome. Because that's what I believe held me back a lot this year, or even the past few years. So I'm going to go ahead with, you know, one of the biggest things that I did accomplish this year was releasing my book, Seeing Life Through a Different Lens which is basically two years in the making or even longer because technically it was my mom's idea to write my life story. And then by the, to me, in my opinion, by the time she did get through a manuscript and someone read her manuscript and almost wanted to publish it and take it over, I wasn't okay with those terms, but I also wasn't okay with the story she chose to share. <laughs> so then I wanted to be tweaking myself. I had been working on a blog too. We both have been working on blogs, saying two different perspectives. So then it became a book. We finally agreed, you know, after disagreeing for a while, agreed and, and came to a book, which is the biggest thing. I wouldn't have had the opportunity to work two part-time jobs. So of course, I've been at my, my job with Ghana Oppy for almost two years now, which is another huge win. I guess that's win number three, because I haven't had a job, like a paying to buy weekly paycheck job like ever. <laughs> like I had one, but I just have it for like nine months until, you know, that chapter is over. I was really to pay for my husband's immigration fees. You know, I've been here, I'm at this job because I genuinely love it. I'm closer to my dreams. I'm in the, involved with the music scene. I'm involved with creative. I love that job. But then I got my second job, which is really what helped me to be around family more, travel to see family more, attend one of my childhood best friends wedding and be her bridesmaids, attend, you know, family reunions and eat, help contribute to sticking more to a plant-based diet, you know, um, because my word of the year was discipline. Uh, that definitely helped a lot when it came to just dieting, you know, I have, I, I was a huge cheese and dairy and pasta lover growing up, but this year I managed to discipline myself. But of course, at this amazing job at the Grand Ole Opry, I got to meet Jimmy Allen, one of the most, the newest and upcoming African-American country singers. And I also got to work seeing Dolly Parton live, which is, she's an amazing businesswoman, a show businesswoman. And I got to work kind of behind the scenes. I wasn't really on her 
set per se, but I was working there at the Grand Ole Opry at SO doing behind the scenes photo because they have tours that can go on before the show starts or at the, you know, the first three songs, two songs or whatever of the show. So I was doing that. But in between that, you know, I got to have two really big speaking gigs, one at Popdown, one at the Audacity Festival. And I was also a seat filler. I was at the seat filler for the Country Music Association Summertime Award, which is great because I love being able to, I finally accepted being able to, you know, work my way up. So I started the seat filler only to know and observe the logistics that I can finally become, you know, a behind the scene, uh, 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 but yeah, literally like a behind the scene photographer. I've done very carpet photog- photography for other media events. Um, and that too, I was also able to give back into having a couple more photography clients, which was amazing. I finally was able to walk into my purpose in that way. And I finally was able to um, go back to Help Portrait. Uh, Help Portrait is an annual event, a free photography, professional photography event that happens every December, founded by a professional photographer who lives out here in Nashville, Tennessee, Jeremy Cowart. Just about been going on for about 10 years. I, you know, missed out. Uh, maybe about four years throughout because life happened and I finally got to do that again and it was just a reminder of my goal of how much I can't wait to have my own studio you know to be able to also teach young people and continue to be that person who photographs either the last or the first or the best photo of someone um, but of course, all this wouldn't happen without help, without professional help, right? I was able to get a new logo for the first time in like four years. But the logo was for like myself, Jaquira Nagar, like that brand, not my photography. My photography logo is still the same because I got professional help done for that. So that logo is still the same. Um, but with the professional help, I was able to get a website and I was able to have a team, you know, when it came to marketing the book because. I know a lot, but I don't know everything, you know? So I need help by hiring a team and hiring help for those who know what they're doing. Um, Hey, I was able to be featured in four podcasts. I look forward to being featured in more podcasts in 2020 with the help of media professionals. Uh, Most importantly, I started this podcast, something else that kind of I let imposter syndrome get in my way of. So I started this podcast and I'm so glad that I did, you know, that I put that off for two years, but I'm so glad that we're here and I'm so glad you're listening to this. And yeah, a lot of the things where say I may have prayed over some things or pitched, reached out to, sent email for, ask, you know, they say ask and you shall receive, but sometimes you ask and you may not receive it then and there. You may get deferred a little bit, but only because there's something greater beyond your imagination that's coming for you. You know, there's, and as a result of these losses and lessons, um, they allow me to gain more clarity on my purpose, gain more clarity on what I want and gain, I mean, gain more aha moments, you know, that can help me get closer to my dream. And speaking of closer into my dream, you know, those, those dreams were manifested. Those prayers were answered. And it had a lot to do with the fact that I write down the, the ones that I'm sharing with you right now, I wrote them down. You know, I wrote them down. I've, I've talked to one person, to one, two people that I trust, you know, and that's how they were able to come in the future. I talked to those people who can help me plan and action because I'm a creative. I will dream, dream, dream all day, but I can't have the analytical side of it. That's where my husband comes in. <laughs> oh, speaking of hubby, we survived five years of marriage. That's huge. You know, a lot of people have said that um, when they do realize that I'm married, they're like, wow, five years, that's big. And I agree because it had not been easy. We survived a lot of stuff. And I'm saying all of this because I too had to advocate for myself, embrace self-care a bit more, and I just want you to do the same. Just set your goals, whatever goals you want, set it in the forefront, put it in the notepad app on your phone, get a journal. Um, I'm probably going to start creating a journal for you all. If you want that, let me know. Send me an email. Leave me a comment. <clears throat> Leave me a comment on my social media because I, I do read it. I don't think I'll ever hire anyone to help read my DMs in that way because I want to be... I want that that to be an engagement part. I want you to still be in touch with me. No matter how big I get, I want you to still be in touch with me in that aspect. Um, so you can talk to me. I still want to be able to help you 
fulfill your dreams and become closer to your dreams and help you to word it so that you're not overwhelmed by your own dreams. And thank you for allowing us to get to a thousand downloads. That's huge to me. Um, just thank you for your support. And I will see you in 2020 for season three. It's going to be the first, the start of season three going to be about my book. Cause that's why we're taking a break so I can focus on family, so I can focus on my health and so I can focus on the book promo. So the start of season three, you'll get a sneak peek into what I've been into. And you never know if I can persuade or I'll get my parents on again and get my mom maybe. Cause a lot of people wanted to learn about like, kind of like an epilogue of the book of how are mom and Zach here now? How did mom and Zach here feel about what's going on in life now? So thank you so much for listening and continue to follow us to the podcast Instagram at Living Legacy Podcast. Thank you for listening to the Living Legacy Podcast. Be sure to subscribe, follow, and download so you don't miss the next episode. If you want to learn more, you can visit ZakiraNayar.com. That's Z-A-A-K-I-R-A-H-N-A-Y-Y-A-R.com. Do you have any suggestions on a topic you want to be talked about? Send me an email or leave them in a review. If you love this episode, be sure to share it with your friends.